My name is Cedric and I'm an addict. Uh, this is my third time here at Cardenzia Reentry House. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about my relapse, uh, what caused it, and my coping skills, and uh, me getting a, a sponsor and a job and deciding and taking some advice to go to uh, independent living instead of going back to the woman. You know. uh, after leaving Reentry House, uh, 541 Wayne Avenue, I returned back to a lady friend, which the people, my director and counselor told me, advised me, maybe I should get my own, but I went against that and went with her anyway, and things exactly like they say didn't work out. Uh, you know, and of course, with the woman and the, 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 the stress, and just and you, I, I started venturing back down to Philly and wound up picking up and using again, and uh, over a six or seven month period, and uh, you know, lost a couple jobs, and you know, uh, things just wasn't good at all. And, you know, nothing never good comes out of using drugs and relapsing. And all you do is hurt the people that you around and push them away and wind up back to square one. You know, thank God I had a reprieve and a, a small support system to help me get back on my feet and, you know, make some good decisions on coming back to... Uh, uh, going through West Chester process and detox and uh, down 1301 Spring Garden, 1306 Spring Garden, and also uh, returning back to reentry house. Uh, but in the process of all that, you know, uh, my relapse was caused due to, um, you know, woman problems and, you know, just, just, uh, a lot of unprocessed feelings and, you know, stuff that took place in my life that I didn't want to deal with. I just pit, kept pitting on the back burner and, and, uh, and ultimately it, it just, it never goes away. It always right there waiting for you to, you know, something happened and it comes right back alive. In my case it did. But, um... Again, I had a reprieve, and I decided to go back through the process again and, and find out. Uh, I found out that some of the things that I thought wasn't worth talking about and dealing with were actually worth talking about and dealing with uh, as far as family issues, uh, my mother passing away, uh, me being molested as a child, and and and, and, and uh, my, my brothers and my sisters and my family relationship with them and, you know, various woman problems and uh, my jail stint, you know, I did a lot of time in jail and, you know, I had unprocessed feelings about that and, you know, being being alone and, you know, being hurt by women and, you know, and a lot of anger I was dealing with. You know, I was broken, you know, come from a broken family, you know, brothers and sisters who also was an active addiction and, you know, and, 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 and just holding all that stuff in and not dealing with this stuff ultimately came out at the end, you know, just like they said it was, and, and it did. But, um, you know, coming back to reentry, I was able to uh, have the same counselor and, uh, you know, the, the same director, uh, uh, and, uh, and also up Westchester, uh, talking to the director up there. She was actually my uh, counselor. She took me on her caseload, and we start working on unprocessed feelings concerning my family, my mother's passing, my brother, my, you know, my relationship with my family and friends, and and also relationship with women. And uh, you know, and and it helped a lot. It took a lot of weight off my shoulders. It it it, it helped me use some of my coping skills that I wasn't using out there on the street and 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 just making poor decisions and 
And, uh, you know, once I became clean and off the drugs, I started making um, better decisions, you know, not 100%, but, you know, I, I was way better than what I was out on the street. And, you know, I became, my head became clear and, you know, still was dealing with some unprocessed feelings, but not as much as I was. You know, and I started talking about my family problem, talking about the molestation, talking about my mother's past and, and, and you know, uh, being mad and vindictive and mean spirited because I was in jail for so long. And I've been, you know, uh, the, the court system did me wrong and I was just so mad and, you know, um, uh, you know, I like I like. I like using drugs, you know, I'm not going to say it was because of this, that, that, and this, uh, that just came along with it, and, um, I, I like the, I like the streets, I like the people, places, and things, and, you know, I've, uh, you know, uh, doing my addiction, you know, I, I'm a bar fly, I like playing pool and hanging out in bars, drinking, and, you know, snorting cocaine, jumping in and out of the car, driving around all crazy, and, you know. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't committing crimes and breaking in people's houses and uh, sticking people up, uh, like, in my past, you know. Uh, it didn't It didn't go that far. I think it's because I'm a little older now, and I wasn't really trying to go to jail, and uh, they give me out too much jail time for that stuff, so... I just figured it was time for me to, you know, go ahead and get myself together, you know, uh, with the small intervention I had with my family. And and here I am back in reentry using better judgment, and I will be um, transitioning soon um, to independent living. I took some suggestions from my uh, director, Aaron Harris, and my counselor, Wendy, who suggested that maybe it's not a smart move to go straight out to the streets. Maybe you should go to a recovery house first and then, you know, build up your money and decide and maybe several months down the line what you want to do then, you know, at least after a year clean. And I think that was the right thing. Uh, I think that would be a good move for me. And uh, because going back out on the streets like that, just fresh out of rehab, it's just not a good thing for nobody. So I'm going to take suggestions this time, something I didn't do the last two times. Um... I'm also taking suggestions on not moving with a lady friend of mine who welcomed me back with open arms and I can easily take that take that uh take that route and you know I believe if I did take that route I would wind up back to square one again. And and I'm gonna take uh I, I just thought about my counselor say just stop using women and leaning on women and go get your own so that way when they start acting funny and pitch you out then you have your you know what I mean you have your own to go back to and you ain't got to be running around trying to find somewhere to live you know and um and um I think that you know my addiction is just uh due to uh my pain that uh, with unprocessed feelings again in the past and 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 um it didn't play a, a 100 percent part in it but it, it was a small chunk of it you know and you know losing my father and losing my mother and my sister and my brother and you know uh not wanting to talk about my problems you know coming through places like this and being told by some of the professionals like listen you have to talk about your problem you have to read your NA book you have to get a sponsor and me just having the case of the fuckers and never doing that wind up right back in here you know but today I do have a sponsor I am working on some things and 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 uh I am um Looking forward to transitioning to another place.